Today we got a new conquest map, Doc's Stethoscope. This is probably one of the easiest conquest maps we'll see all year. Took less than an hour to complete, the rewards are pretty good, and of course you get 30k XP towards the Roy Holiday program. So without wasting any more time, here are the hidden rewards that you can get from this map. So you actually start out in two different locations, one in the top left and then one in like the middle-ish area. Without having to play a single game, you can earn a show pack and then a headliner set 12 pack. Once you go down a bit, if you beat the Philly Stronghold, you get a headliner set two pack. I don't know what their boner is about the headliner set two pack. They just really seem to like it. Work your way up, you beat the Blue Jays, which you're gonna have to do. You can't go anywhere else. You get a ball in his habit pack, so pretty good deal there. Headliner set 15 pack, and then if you beat the Phillies again, you earn a five show pack bundle. Once again, this took less than an hour to complete the entire thing. And you also get some rewards here. No move specific missions at all. All you gotta do is play the conquest map, get very minimal stubs and XP. You can earn a show pack once you conquer 75 territories. A headliners pack set 17 if you get 90 million fans. That's the new one that just came out, so you have a chance of getting Willie Mays in that one. Capture the Blue Jays stronghold. Not only do you get the bonus habit pack, but you get this sick throwback jersey. I'm a sucker for a dope jersey. Then if you complete the entire map, you get a second Balm as a habit pack. So there's definitely a lot of premium packs in this map, which I like, and it's super quick. Here are all the packs that I ended up getting from completing the Conquest map. About eight premium packs and then seven show packs. Some of these did come from the 30K XP that I got from completing the map. I don't know, I think this one's probably been the most worthwhile one to do. So we'll start with the show pack, see if we can get anything out of these. Any golds at this point will be good. Remember next Friday, we have a brand new featured program. It's gonna be like some kind of team affinity style. There's gonna be 30, one for each team. And then we also have the big collection coming out. So let me know in the comment section, who do you think that's gonna be? We finally get a gold, and it's gonna be Wander Franco. All right, half him, so nothing special there. Oh, we got another gold. Can we get somebody? Matt Olson. Matt Olson's down to an 80 overall? God damn, he was like, did this just happen? He was like a diamond not that long ago. Sheesh. Let's go right into the bonus of habit packs. Bonus gold packs, whatever you want to call them. I fully expect to get two golds out of this. We start out with a Marcus Seaman, down to an 80 overall gold, man. Rangers overpaid for this guy big time. All right, last one. I can't complain too much about free gold cards, but I would like at least one diamond. Nope, we get, I literally call this. We get Nick Anderson, who doesn't even go into anything right now. Not a good start, but like I said, I think they have a boner over set two headliners pack. I don't know what it is about Billy Wagner that they like so much, but he seems to like always be in these conquest maps just give me some not a silver holy shit this pack opening is going about as bad as i thought carlos carrasco is in set 11 we get two golds we start out with a zach gallon he could actually be a good diamond investment and then aaron nola all right i got both of these but overall good stub pack we got two set 12 headliners this one has Cattell Marte, who's probably been the best headliner we've gotten so far this year so i would love to pull him still don't have him he's got a really nice swing we got another goal we got kyle tucker we're getting a lot of people like right on the bridge of diamond status but aren't quite there and we get a silver still no diamonds man got two packs left do it set 15 headliner this is the one with ralph kiner don't have him yet he's got some big time power so i'd love to get my hands on him and Another goal, we got Brandon Nimmo. At least that's somebody I don't have this time. All right, last one. It's gonna have the brand new card that just came out, Willie Mays. Overall, I don't think this is a good card at all. There's a million other outfielders, but it's still a card I don't have. So shit, at this point, I'll take any diamond. Nope, we ended with a silver. Sounds about right. JP Fire Eyes. Oh, well shit, man. Hopefully your pack looks a lot better than mine. Once again, here are the hidden rewards. It took less than an hour to do this. You get a ton of packs and some good XP. So definitely make sure you take advantage of this. But if you like when I do these hidden reward videos, be sure to leave a like on the video. Or if you want to see them sooner, I do post them on Twitter right away. So go give me a follow on there if you want to see it ASAP. But anyways, I'll catch you boys in the next one. Peace out.